Hi team, it's Rosemary Killip from Building Networks here. Let me share an idea with you. Who or where is your source of truth? This is important when it comes to building compliance because in a hierarchy it could be, is this in the law? Is this in a regulation or gazette notice? Is this a guidance from the government MB? Is this a council rule? Or is it something that somebody made up in their head? Is it a view or opinion that could be challenged? Or is it a black and white, you've got to do this? For example, today someone said to me, oh, well, we were doing a minor piece of building work and the council made us do this because the council rule says you have to upgrade 100%. Now, come on, you and I know that's not true. Section 112 of the Building Act calls for an assessment as nearly as is reasonably practicable for the rest of the building to be assessed for means of escape from fire and for accessibility and facilities for people with disabilities. However, go take a look at section 1122, which is the second part of that equation about forming an assessment, which forms an argument, which forms a justification for how far you will take an old building up the peg or two when it comes to those two areas, or you can trade off one for the other. Back to the tip and the point. Well, I think in the building industry, contractors and builders take their source of truth as the building inspector. Not once, not twice, and not hundreds of times have people said to me, I'm not going to challenge the building inspector because next time he's going to make my life hell. So if he tells me to wear pink underwear and a blue tutu, I'll do that. Really? Yeah, really. It's called, you know, whack up a couple of dwings here and put some more building wrap in here. But, you know, if the building inspector's opinion is to do more because it's good trade practice or what they would have done when they were on the tools. You might take that for granted as some good advice and just get on and do it. But who's paying the bill? The client, the owner. So again, challenge it out. In our world of compliance post-occupancy, IQPs are often saying things like, this doesn't comply and that's obsolete and this, well, you know what? Just cut it out. The Compliance Schedule Handbook reinforces what the Building Act says, which is you cannot be made to upgrade an existing building, period, the end. It of course assumes the building is constructed well in the first place and to code from 1992 onwards anyway, and that pre-permitted work was great. Well, that's a lot of assumptions, but it is the law. So. If you're a facility manager, a building owner or tenant, and someone says yada 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 doesn't comply, you're not having a maintenance question. You've got to shock yourself into the system by going, ooh, I think we're having a installation fault question. So ask the smart questions to remind yourself where the source of truth lies. Is it in the act? Is it in the regulations? Is it a guidance from the government? Is it council policy or is it someone's head made up? If it's in a standard, remember standards don't stand on their own as law. Not in the building industry, they don't. The Building Act takes precedence. So if someone quotes chapter and verse out of a standard for you, especially post-occupancy, it's got to be the standard of the vintage of installation that is relevant. If we're during construction, you can have alternative solutions as well. So be mindful that even if someone quotes to you from a chapter and book, say, where does this fit? Like, is it law or is it a standard? That's your clue. That's my tip for the day. I hope you find that useful. Again, we're going to discuss this and more at our compliance forums coming up September through November. I encourage you to click that link below, go take a look, come join us and have a really good conversation. Save stress, save time, some money, come on down to the forums and let's talk this all through and come up with some solutions for how you can avoid getting into trouble, but also make sure you've got the right source of truth.